Hello, welcome to Trails of Cold Steel. Yeah, I'm recording rather late at night after getting back from watching the Sony conference. And also I, I watched the PC gaming conference and the Ubisoft conference where some friends we discussed many delightful things. Mostly whether Bloodborne 2 or Death Stranding were going to show up and neither of them did. They we were sans Bloodborne 2 and Death Stranding. A regrettable moment for us all, I'm sure. Oh what? Oh hey, the rain stopped. How delightful. to be one of the class 7 students from Thor's, would you? Out for a little late night shopping, are we? <laughs> You're one of the favorite topics at our radio station, actually. There are plenty of people out there who want to know more about Thor's dashing guys and gals in red. Oh, maybe you know me from the radio? Good evening, everyone. Oh, it's Misty. This summer's turning into a real scorcher, isn't it? To beat the heat, we're going to be broadcasting tonight from a park here in Trista. <laughs> Ring any bells? Bingo. You must be quite the avid listener, recognizing my voice so easily. Glad to know I've got a faithful fan out there. <laughs> Thanks. But it sure is serendipitous, you know? Having a chance encounter like this, just after the rains eased up. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't mention this on tonight's show. Is something the matter? You're staring at me so intently, I feel a little embarrassed. Have you? Wait, is she Vita Clotilde? <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. I never figured anyone would actually catch on. Right you are once again. Honestly, even the people I work with at the radio station don't seem to have noticed, so I'm surprised you could tell. <laughs> it's 
just a little something I do for fun on the side. Gotta spice life up a bit, right? The best part is, the people at the Opera House in Heimdall have no idea I come here to do my show every week. So don't go telling anyone, okay? It'll be our secret. Well, there's a little trick to it. <laughs> You're not the only one who was surprised, though. I had this feeling I'd seen you before, but I couldn't put my finger on where. But it's you, isn't it? Um... Anyway, I have to get over to the studio now. Oh, and be sure to tune in to tonight's Aubin time. It'll be a fun one. Promise. <laughs> and give my regards to those two, would you? How mysterious. a short while ago. Were you out shopping? Wait, do I smell lavender on you? This is perfume, isn't it? How did it get onto you? Um, Reen, I can only hope the reason you ended up taking longer than expected isn't because you were <laughs> I never said it was, though you do seem strangely defensive for a man who has nothing to hide. You implied it, Emma. Huh. I wonder what would happen if Elise and the other girls were to catch wind of this. You are Satan. Emma wasn't with us when we met Vita, was she? So, yeah, she wasn't with us when we met on the field trip. She must know her from somewhere else. Closer to home, you all have probably noticed the summer showers we're getting here in Trista. 
The rain's let up for now, but it's managed to push that nasty nighttime humidity right off the charts. It's nights like these I wish I could smuggle an ice-cold beer into the studio. And the director is chilling over there, drink in hand, mocking me. But you know what? Forget that guy. Anyway, for all you students out there, your summer vacation's probably wrapping up, so I hope you made the most of it. Wait, I forgot that summer vacation at the military academy has already come and gone. Whoops. Still, it's never too late to do something bold that'll keep your memories of this summer burning bright. Hmm, and what about you, Miss Misty? You're probably asking yourselves, well, you might want to sit down for this one. Because fate had a romantic rendezvous in store for yours truly just on the way to the studio today. Oh, means only 17. A tryst with a young man in a park after sunset. Droplets of rain clinging to the grass. I'll treasure the memory forever. Or I would, if I hadn't just made it up on the spot. Chalk it up to a dreamer's poetic license, I guess. Still, maybe one day I'll feel the thrilling rush of a summer love. Gotta keep the fire burning. <laughs> anyway, I have to get over to the studio now. Uh, flashback, that wasn't what Veen was wearing. Oh, and be sure to tune in to tonight's Aubin time. It'll be a fun one. Promise. <laughs> And give my regards to those two, would you? Oh, good disguise, Gideon. So you've arrived. Good to see you, boss. Oh, you're awfully early. Well met, Comrade V, Comrade S. I see that you've finished all your preparations as well. Smooth as silk. Although you're the one who'll be taking center stage in our next operation without a doubt. Who'd have thought you'd volunteer to go pound the pavement and crossbow? The Red Constellation are gonna be there. I still think I'm the prime choice for this one. I disagree. As I can no longer rely on the power of the flute, it makes the most sense for me to go. Especially when you consider the very real possibility that we may have to accept a necessary sacrifice for the greater good. That is the best way for us to achieve what we desire. Serious. Uh, you really are too morose for your own good. I could say the same of both of you. Why else would you have willingly plunged yourselves into a struggle like this to begin with? <laughs> I suppose you're right. <laughs> you got us there. I see you've all gathered. Oh, I see. Comrade C. Fashionably late, but worth the wait. That makes it a full house. I appreciate your gathering, comrades. The wheels have been set in motion. There is no place for hesitation, no time for looking back. We seek only results. I couldn't agree more. No objections here, either. Goes without saying. That said, I will ask you but once. Comrade G, are you certain this is the path you would walk? <laughs> My heart itself beats with the ideals of the Liberation Front. If my life should see its end in Crossbell, so that tyrant must be stopped from creating the vile dystopia he seeks. Through the cost me. If through our efforts we or anyone anywhere succeeds in that aim, we will have our victory. Very well. May the goddess 
or perhaps powers less fair attend you. When this is over and our victory won, let us toast our success together. In the Imperial Capital. Indeed. Farewell, my comrades. He doesn't know how to express how he feels, but I understand. Losing your place in the world for doing what's right, and throwing yourself into the eye of the storm. It ain't something I could do. Different paths brought each of us here, but the road we travel now is the same. Let us depart, Comrade Ness, Comrade V. We each have our own part to play in what is to come. Of course. Just leave it to us. Poor G. I don't think we're even going to get a chance to have another boss battle with him before he dies. Yes, let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Well, to defeat Machius and Co. at least. Yeah, I actually don't think we're going to get any depth of equipment for them. Leave it 
to me. My turn. Deal with Elliot first. Leave it to me. Mark here's next. My turn. Go. My turn. Use this will go down third. All right. Impossible. My turn. Yeah, this is why I saved guys for last. That was pretty easy. I'm awesome. Yeah, more of that. Thanks. They really didn't. Yeah, this is going to be more difficult. Well, shall we begin? I'll handle Of course. This. Yeah. My turn. Luckily, I'm not against cheating.
Um, no, you didn't fall just short of victory. You didn't even get a single attack off. Kvo didn't even have to take his turn. One thing I do like about this game is that, in a very natural way, they had the girls of the class be clearly more talented than the boys. Like, not even in the sense that the boys are untalented, it's just Law and Fee are ridiculous, and Emma has magic, and Elisa is, you know, fine. And Million is Million. Please have Crow and Milliam. Oh, just Milliam.
I ship these two so much. Like, oh, right in the gut. I can't believe it. My very first class trip. We're gonna have the best time. How much money do I get to spend on sweets and stuff? Oh, oh, do bananas count as snacks? N no, no, they don't. Just, just get off me, please. Ah, there you are. Good morning, Reen. Seems you had quite the rude awakening this morning. Yeah, Poppy only wishes it was that effective. She must have really been looking forward to this trip. <laughs> certainly seems so. She holds her own in class, to be sure. But at times like these, she seems like any other kid her age. I'm looking forward to finally getting the chance to visit Laura's hometown. I've heard that Lagram is known for both its many legends and for the mist that hangs over the town for much of the year. Ah yes, the death mist. <laughs> I don't know which stories you've heard, but most of them have been exaggerated in the retelling over time. Only the servants know the true purpose of the mist and its terrible origins. It certainly doesn't lack for scenic beauty though. I was hoping I'd have the opportunity to invite you to see it. Though I wish Elisa, B, and the others in Group B could have come with us. <laughs> Me too. I hope they enjoy their trip. Sorry to keep you waiting. Yusuf's. Good heavens. Ugh, can someone do something about this child? She's out of control. <laughs> okay, looks like everybody's here. See what this is. Well, that seems like a good place to leave it. So, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.